Hi everyone, welcome to today's topic, permutations. But before we come to permutations, let us see what is the fundamental principle of counting. As both fundamental principle of counting and permutations are closely linked. Now, the principle states if one event occurs or in other words you can say it happens in x different ways and the second event occurs in y different ways then the total number of ways in which both the events can occur in the same order is x into y that is they are multiplied. Now you can have many different words in place of occurs you can have choose or choosing or outcomes or happenings. We can generalize this principle. Now, what is the general principle? It says if n events occur in x, y, z, dash, dash, r, s, t, number of ways respectively in a given order, then the total occurrences will be x into y into z dash 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 into r into s into t. That is, all the different number of ways are multiplied to get the total number of occurrences. Let's see one or two examples and then this would be clear. Now here in this example, we are given if we have three types of pencils and two types of rubbers, and we have to choose one pencil and one rubber. How many different pairs can I choose? So you see here, we have three options for pencils. Three options for pencils. So we can choose them in three different ways. And we have two options for rubbers. So, according to the fundamental principle of counting, the number of pairs which I can choose, the number of pairs which we can choose will be 3 into 2 which is 6. Now, if you want to see what answer we have got, 6. Is that correct or not? We can just draw a tree diagram. Let me denote the pencils, the options, different options we are taking for pencils as P1, P2 and P3. And I'll take rubbers as there are two options R1 and R2. Now, let's say that we have P1, first type of pencil, P2 and P3. Now, if I pick P1, the first type of pencil, now I have two options, either first type of rubber or the second type of rubber, R2. And this, let me write it again. R2. If I pick the pencil P2, again I have two options R1 and R2 for the rubbers. And if I pick P3, I again have two options to pick the rubber R1 and R2. Now, just take each branch. The first branch I take is P1 R1. Second branch, if we take P1, R2, it will give me P1, R2. Take P2, R1, this branch. We'll get P2, R1. Take P2, R2. We have P2, R2. And if we take the third option, P3 for the pencil, we have P3, R1 and P3, R2. Now count, these are the six ways. Either I can pair P1 and R1 or P1, R2 
और P2 R1 और P2 R2 और P3 R1 P3 R2 these are six in number so instead of this lengthy process of counting we have directly multiplied three into two and got the answer as six let's look at another example there are two boys john and adam and two girls rita and Anne. we need one boy and one girl in how many ways can we choose that now you have two boys and you have two girls so we can pick up boy in two ways and girl in two ways so total number of ways total number of ways is nothing but 2 into 2 which is 4. Now let's see. We've got the answer. We got it directly by the fundamental principle of counting. As there were two ways we could pick a boy and two ways we could pick a girl. So 2 into 2 which is 4. Now see. Let's say we have. We start with John. Now John can pick Rita or Anne. Let's say he first picks Rita. So this is one combination. John can also pick Anne. We have got the second combination. Now John had only these two choices, Rita and Anne. Come to Adam. Now Adam can pick Rita or Adam can pick Anne. So Adam also had two choices. How many combinations have you made? You've made John Rita, John Ann, Adam Rita, Adam Ann. There are four. It's the same answer which you've got here. Now, let's come to factorials. And this plays a very important role in describing permutations. What are factorials? The product of first n natural numbers is called n factorial and it is denoted by n with the exclamation mark. So let's see this is our n factorial. Now what does that mean? It says factorial is nothing but the product of first n natural numbers. So if I am taking n factorial it means n 1 less than that n minus 1 into n minus 2 will go up to 3 to 1. If you write it in the reverse order we have 1 into 2 into 3 going up to n. So this is what n factorial is. Few things you have to always remember. Now 0 factorial is always 1. 1 factorial is 1. n factorial can also be written as n n minus 1 factorial. What have we done here? Here you can see n factorial was n, n minus 1, n minus 2 going up to 3, 2, 1. So we pull out this n and naturally the remaining term is nothing but n minus 1 factorial. Let's do some examples. What if we are asked to find the value of 3 factorial? We will use the formula n factorial is n into n minus 1 and it goes up to your 1. So here 3 factorial would mean 3 into 2 into 1. You see we've used this n factorial is n n minus 1, again reduce 1, n minus 2 goes up to 3 into 2 into 1. This is what we have used. What if we are asked to find the value of 7 factorial multiplied by 3 factorial? Now this would mean, first we will open up 7 factorial. n is 7 now, put it in the formula. So 7, 1 less 6, 1 less 5, 1 less 4, 1 less 3, 
to 1 multiplied by 3 factorial. 3 factorial you just saw was nothing but 3 1 less 2 into 1. Multiply the whole thing. You will get the answer as let's see what is 7 factorial. That comes out to be 5, 0, 4, 0. And 3 factorial is nothing but 6. If you multiply this here, see 3 into 2 will give us 6. This is nothing but 3, 0, 2, 4, 0. So this is our 7 factorial multiplied by 3 factorial. What if we have to find 6 factorial minus 0 factorial. Now you know that 0 factorial is 1. So first let's do 6 factorial. 6 factorial means we start with 6. 1 less 5, 1 less 4, 1 less 3, 1 less 2, 1 less 1. Minus 0 factorial you saw was 1. Now 6 Factorial is nothing but multiply 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. You will get 720 minus 1 is equal to 719. So this is the solution. Let's look at one more question. What if we are asked to find 6 factorial divided by 3 factorial? We will first open up. 6 factorial, you know, 6 factorial we just found was 720. I'm just writing it again. 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Divided by 3 into factorial, uh, uh, 3 factorial, you saw 3 factorial is 6. Now if you multiply all the terms on the numerator, you will get 7 to 0 divided by 6, which is 1. Zero. So this is the answer. Now, one thing, when we come across factorials, we need not multiply everything these days. In your calculators, even in the calculators on your phone, you have a provision to find the factorial of numbers. So you can do that on your calculators. So don't worry guys, this was only for explanation purpose. Now coming to what are permutations? Now, permutations are nothing but arrangements of things or persons or objects taken some or all at a time. Now there are three different cases we'll do. The first one, when the objects are distinct and by distinct, we mean they do not repeat. In that case, the number of permutations or the number of arrangements we can get of n objects which are distinct, taken r at a time, is given by the notation npr. Now, you can always write it as pnr or you can write it as p in suffix n, r. There are different ways of writing, but this is the most common way of writing the permutation. So, whenever we are given a total of n objects from that, we are taking r at a time. We write it as npr and this is known as the number of permutations. Now, npr has a formula. It is n into n minus 1 dash 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 goes up to n minus r plus 1 or we can also write it as factorial n upon n minus r factorial. Remember guys, factorial is never negative. So we should have r less than equal to n. It can be equal when n and r are equal, we get 0 and you know that 0 factorial is not 0, it is 1. So that is fine, but r has to be greater than equal to 0. Let's take one example to explain this. 
What if we are given the numbers from 1 to 9? Now, how many numbers are these? 9 numbers. In how many ways can we make 3 digit numbers when the numbers do not repeat? So, here we are on the first case where the objects are distinct and they do not repeat. Another thing you should always remember, this formula NPR is always used for distinct objects. So, we have to find how many three digits numbers can be made. In how many ways can we form them? Let's look at the solution. So, here we are given N as 9 because we have numbers from 1 to 9. These are 9 numbers. And our R value here is 3 because we have to make three digit numbers with a condition numbers do not repeat. So, from the formula, in how many ways we can do that or how many arrangements can be made, the number of arrangements will be number of arrangements will be nothing but n p or for us it is 9 p 3. Now from the formula this is nothing but 9 factorial divided by 9 minus 3 factorial which is 9 factorial divided by 6 factorial. Now I am using the calculator directly for finding the factorial value. So 9 factorial from my calculator comes out to be 3, 6, 2, 8, 8, 0 upon factorial 6 which we just saw was 7 to 0. You will get the answer as 5, 0, 4. So these are the number of arrangements you will get of 3 digit numbers. Now, we've got the solution. I'll just show how we can also use the fundamental principle of counting. Now, we need three digit numbers, which means let's say three places are there. We want to form three digit numbers. Now, here, let's say in the first, we start with the leftmost. In the first place, any of the nine numbers can come because we have numbers from one to nine. So, there are nine ways in which the numbers can come here. I can have one here, I can have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, anything here. Let us say we had just a Example I'm explaining. What if we had 3 in the first place? Now 3 is out because numbers cannot repeat. So now how many numbers are there to choose? Now there are only 8 numbers to choose. From that, let us say I picked 2. So now again one number is gone. How many numbers are left from which we can fill the third place? Now we have only 7 numbers. So in the seventh place, maybe I picked up one. So my number was 3, 2, 1. This is just one arrangement. This is just one of the arrangements. So now, how many ways are there? Nine ways for the first place, eight place for the second place, and seven place for the third place. So we have total number of arrangements. Total number of arrangements will be nothing but 9 into 8 into 7 which is nothing but 504. So you've got the same thing using the principle, fundamental principle of counting. So you see this is how both of them are related also fundamental principle of counting and the permutations.
Let's come to the next example. How many three-letter words with or without meaning can be made from the letters of the word cobra? Repetition of letters is not allowed. Which means we can use the formula NPR directly. Now here, cobra has five letters. So are five letters. Now this implies my N value is 5 and R value will be 3 as we have to make 3 letter words. So from N we are taking 3 letters. We'll use the formula directly. The number of 3 letter words will be nothing but 5P3. You know how much is that? This will be nothing but 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 3 factorial. Use your calculator. You will see 5 factorial is 120 and 2 factorial in the denominator is 2. So you get the solution as 60. 63 letter words can be made. So this is our answer. Let's come to the second case where repetition of things is allowed. In the first case, we took distinct things or the objects. So if repetition of objects is allowed, the number of permutations of n objects taken r at a time is given by n to the power r. Let's look at some examples. In the first example, we have to find the number of three letter words which can be made from the letters of the word cobra if repetition is allowed. Words can be with or without meaning. So now in such a case, you see, we have five letters in our word cobra. So n value is 5 and r value is 3 because we have to form three letter words. So according to the formula, the number of formula Patients will be n to the power r because repetition is allowed. So what is our n value? n value is 5, r value is 3. 5 to the power 3 number of permutations are going to be achieved. That is 125. Now let's look at this in another way. You have to form three letter words. I am taking these blank spaces for the three letters. In the first place, we can have any of the five letters from COBRA. K, O, B, R, A, anything can come here. Now, so first place is filled. Come to the second place. Here, repetition is allowed. We are not saying if K has been filled here, it can't come in the second place. So K can also come here. So any of the five letters can again come here in the second place. And because repetition is allowed, any of the five letters from COBRA can come in the third place also. So from the fundamental principle of counting, how many ways are there? Number of ways will be 5 into 5 into 5 which is 5 to the power 3 and that gives us the answer as 125 what you got earlier. Let's look at the same question where now if we have to make 5 letter words from the 5 letters of COBRA with or without meaning if repetition is allowed. So in this case because n is 5 and 5 letter words are to be made, r is also 5. So the 
नंबर ऑफ फाइव लेटर वर्ड्स विथ रेपिटेशन विथ और विदाउट मीनिंग विल बी फाइव टू दी पावर फाइव इफ यू कैलकुलेट दिस विल कम आउट टू बी थ्री वन टू फाइव सो नाउ लेट्स कम टू दर्ड केस द नंबर ऑफ पर्म्यूटेशन ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट वेर वन ऑब्जेक्ट रिपीट्स पी नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स फॉर दिस वी यूज द फॉर्मूला एन फैक्टोरियल बाय पी फैक्टोरियल दिस इज वेन ओनली वन ऑब्जेक्ट इज रिपीटिंग पी नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स वॉट वी हैव मोर देन वन ऑब्जेक्ट विच रिपीट्स a number of times then how do we find the number of permutations so if one object repeats p1 number of times second object repeats p2 number of times and it goes on and the qth object repeats pq number of times then the number of permutations are given by the formula n factorial upon p1 factorial into p2 factorial dash 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 into pq factorial let's look at some examples here in the first example we have to find how many words can be made from the letters of the word abra now here you see that r a repeats two times and b and r come only once so first of all what is our n n is 4 there are four letters in abra and our p value that is as a repeats two times our number of permutations will be will be Four factorial divided by two factorial. Now this you know is nothing but four into three into two into one divided by two into one. So the answer is twelve. So we will have twelve permutations of the words formed by the letters of Abra. Now look at the next one. How many words can be made from the letters of the word banana? Now here you see we have total number of words one, two, three, four, five, six. N is nothing but six total letters of banana. And a how many times a repeats? A repeats. Three times, three times, and n repeats twice. N repeats two times. So the total number of permutations will be number of permutations will be nothing but. n factorial that is 6 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 2 factorial so you see that this is nothing but 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 divided by 3 into 2 into 1 2 into 1 now you just simplify you will see that your answer comes out to be 60 so there are 60 permutations of the words from the letters of banana we have done three different types of cases based on those cases let's practice some examples in the first one we are asked How many five-digit number plates can be formed from the digits zero to nine if the digits do not repeat? Now you see here, n value is ten because 
0 to 9 means there are 10 digits. There are 10 digits. And from these 10 digits, we have to pick 5 digits. So our, our value will be 5. So how many 5 digit number plates can be formed? Or in other words, how many permutations are there? We'll say the number of 5 digit number plates will be will be nothing but n which is 10 p for permutations r which is 5 now you know that from the formula this is 10 factorial divided by 10 minus 5 factorial one way is to directly use the calculator see 10 factorial is nothing but 3, 6, 2, 8, 8, 0, 0. And our 5 factorial will be nothing but 1, 2, 0. When you divide, you will get the answer as 3, 0, 2, 4, 0. Now, this is our solution. These many number plates, without the digits repeating, we will be able to form. Another way of doing it is, I'll just write it here. You open up factorial like this 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 multiplied by 5 factorial and divide by 5 factorial so 5 factorial and 5 factorial cancel and when you multiply these digits you get the answer as 30240 now, this is an easy way of doing in case you do not have your calculator with you. In the second question, we are asked to find how many four-digit number plates can be made from 1000 to 10,000 using the digit 0 to 9. The question does not say that digits do not repeat, which means digits can repeat. So, we have to find how many four-digit number plates can be made. Now, you have to take digits from 0 to 9. But as four digit number plates have to be made, the first place cannot have a 0, which means I can fill numbers from 1 to 9. So there are 9 ways. Any of the numbers from 1 to 9 can come here. But as it says that digits can repeat, we can have any number from 0 to 9, which means there are 10 ways. In this place also, 0 to 9, anything can come. So again, there are 10 ways. And in the last place also, from 0 to 9, any number can come. So there are 10 ways. So we can directly write the number of four digit number plates is equal to 9 into 10 into 10 into 10 which means it is 9000 now See, we did not use the formula NPRY because that formula can only be used when the digits do not repeat. In the third question, we are asked how many three-digit even numbers can be formed using the digits 1 to 6 if the digits can be repeated. 
Now, as the digits are being repeated, we cannot use the formula NPR. We are given digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. As we have to form even three digit numbers. So, for a number to be even, the units place can only have either 2, 4 or 6 because we have to pick digits from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, here either 2 can come in the units place or 4 or 6. That is, there are three ways in which units place can be filled. Now, come to the tenths place. Here, any of the number can come from 1 to 6. So, there are 6 ways in which we can fill that. And so is the case with the first place, the hundredths place. Here also, any of the 6 numbers can come. So, the number of 3 digit even numbers formed by using 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is nothing but 6 into 6 into 3, which you will see comes out to be 108. So, these many even three digit numbers can be made if we use the digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In the fourth question, we are asked how many 10 digit phone numbers can be formed using digits 0 to 9, starting with 9, 8, and you are given that the digits do not repeat. Now, one thing which is given to us is that. The starting numbers are 9, 8. So, this first place is fixed, second place is fixed. But as the numbers do not repeat, these two numbers cannot be used. So, how many numbers are you left with? 8 numbers. From 0 to 9, there are 10 digits. But 9 is gone and 8 is gone. So, we have now only 8 ways in picking up a number for this place. Now, whatever number is filled in the third place, that cannot be repeated. So, next we can only choose from 7 numbers. Now, once here also we have picked up a number, we have only 6 choices left. And once this place is filled, we have only 5 numbers left to fill this place. Then only 4 numbers are left, 3, 2 and only 1 number will be left. So, how many ways are there in which we can form these 10 digit phone numbers starting with 9, 8? So, the number of 10 digit phone numbers starting with 9 8 will be nothing but 8 into 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 which is nothing but 8 factorial. If you check your calculator or do it manually, you'll find the value comes out to be 40320. Now, these many 10-digit phone numbers can be made. Question number 5, we are asked how many 3-digit numbers can be formed using digits 0 to 9, where no digit repeat. So, here we have to form three digit numbers. You are given 
to choose from 0 to 9, which means there are 10 digits. But in the first place, 0 cannot come because if we take 0, our numbers will reduce to 2 digit numbers. So this is out. Now you are left with numbers from 1 to 9. In 9 ways, we can pick up a number for the first place. Now you've already filled up the first place. So out of 10, now 9 numbers are left. In the second and the third place now, you have to fill two places choosing from 9 digits because one digit has already been filled in the first place, which we can do in 9P two ways. Two places to be filled from the 9 digits as one digit has been taken by the first place. So what will be the number of permutations of three digit numbers that would be nothing but using the fundamental principle of counting 9 into 9p2. Now this you know is nothing but 9 into 9 factorial by 9 minus 2 factorial. Either you can directly use your calculator because calculators have that provision of permutations or you can use the formula and this one simplifying you'll see is nothing but 9 into 9 factorial upon 7 factorial you get 648 as the answer. So there are total number of 3 digit 3 digit Numbers is nothing but 648. In question number 6, we are given the word counting and we are asked two things. First, how many words starting with the letter T can be made using the letters from counting? Second, in how many words will the vowels come together? The first thing we should always do is count the total number of letters. You see here, Total number of letters is nothing but 8. Now we have to form words starting with T. E. So first place is reserved for the letter T. Now you are left with only 7 letters to choose from. So a small n will be nothing but 7. Another thing you must have noticed, the n comes twice. In the word counting, so n comes twice, which means we will use the formula given in case 2 for finding the number of permutation. This is the formula we will use, and this will give us the total number of words starting with T as nothing but 7 factorial by 2 factorial. Simplify. This will be 5, 0, 4, 0 divided by 2, which gives us to 5, 2, 0 as the total number of words which start with T. Come to the second part. In the second part, we are asked in how many words will the vowels come together? Now, there are three vowels, O, I and U. Take them as one unit. Take three vowels as one unit. Or you can say as one number because they have to come together. So now, from Eight letters of the word counting, three are gone and we are left with five letters. And one unit of vowels, so total number of letters from which we will choose is six. So small n is nothing but six now. First thing, 
the permutations the number of permutations will be 6 factorial by 2 factorial why 6 because now we are choosing from 6 letters taking vowels as one unit but capital N repeats twice so we have divided by 2 and second thing vowels have 3 factorial ways of coming or you can say 3 factorial arrangements so using the fundamental principle of counting total number of words where vowels come together is nothing but 6 factorial by 2 factorial multiplied by 3 factorial simplify you should get the answer 2160 so these are the total number of words where vowels come together let's come to the seventh question given the word roman how many three letter words can be formed from its letters such that first part a and n come together second part a and n are never together let's do the first part where we have to find the words where a and n always come together let's take a and n to be one unit so this is one unit and remaining three letters r o and m together form four out of four we have to make three letter words so what will be the number of permutations where a and n are together the number of permutations where a and n come together will be 4 p 3 and a and n they will also have their own arrangements that will be 2 factorial so this gives us 4 factorial 4 minus 3 factorial multiplied by 2 factorial simplify you will get the answer as 48 the permutations where a and n are never together will be nothing but total permutations minus the permutations where a and n are together now what are total permutations that would be 5 p 3 and you've just found the permutations where a and n are together to be 48 it was 4 p 3 multiplied by 2 factorial now 5 p 3 would be nothing but 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 3 factorial and this side you've already calculated is 48 simplify the first part it will come out to be 60 minus 48 that is there are 12 permutations where a and n are never together this is the answer let's come to the last question question number eight now this question is a little different from what we've done so far here we are asked how many three letter words can be made from the letters O, O, G, G, L, E? Total six letters are there. So, in all six letters are there. And here, O occurs two times. So does G. G occurs two times. 
but L and E they occur one time. We are asked to form three letter words, which means that you have to fill three spaces by different letters. Now, let us see. As there is a repetition, we will have two different types of cases. First will be when. All these letters taken once will come in these three spaces. So, how many single letters do we have? O, G, L and E. These are four. Four letters. When taken, single. When taken, single. No repetition. In that case, if we have to fill these three spaces, what will be the permutations? So, number of permutations will be will be nothing but from four, as there are four letters, we have to fill three spaces. You know that using the formula, this would be 4 factorial divided by 4 minus 3 factorial, which is nothing but 4 factorial. And this comes out to be 24. So this is nothing but 24. So we have case 1. Come to case 2. Now. You see here, again, three spaces have to be filled. And for these three spaces, now we are going to treat the letters which come twice. So, let's say we start with O. As O occurs two times. What if O's take two places and third place is filled by remaining letters? So, in how many ways can that be done? That can be done by three P two ways. Now, you see, there are three places and two places O has to take. So, in these many ways, O can take the place. can take place and then we have one place left. So how many letters would be left once O is gone? We had in all we had O, G, L and E. Now if O's are gone, then we are left with three. So in the third place, In the third place, any three can come. In three ways. So, we have three P2 multiplied by three. This is for the case when O occurs two times and takes two places. So we have this, but we also have G which occurs two times, but G also occurs two times. So what if G 
does the same thing takes two places then we will have either o takes two places or g takes two places so which means we have now two cases of the repetitions so the number of permutations the number of permutations will be 3p2 into 3 multiplied by 2 now let's simplify how much will this come out to be you know that 3p2 will be 3 factorial divided by 3 minus 2 factorial multiplied by 3 into 2. So, this you know is nothing but 36. Now, second answer is from case to 36. So, total number of permutations, total number of words will say three letter words words will be nothing but 36 and you are adding the case one to that 24 you will get 60 such combinations this is the final answer. Now, at this point, I will just like to point out that how was this question different from the other questions? See here, in this question, it said how many three-letter words? What if the question said how many words can be made from the letters O, O, G, G, L, E? Then we could have done. I'll just write it at the end. Note. If the question was how many words can be made from O, O, G, G, L, E without saying that three letter words or four letter words, then we could have directly solved it as. 6 factorial divided by how many repetitions are there? 2 for O and 2 for G. This would have been the answer. So, in this video, I have tried to cover all different types of uh, cases which can occur by using different examples. Thank you for watching. Our next topic will be combinations. You can check my website www.profpreetivajpay.com. Go to courses. Under that, you'll find the link for my book on remedial mathematics. You have plenty of exercises and solved problems for all different courses. Once again, thanks for watching.